Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Elephant Exposed. I am your host, CJ Jones, or Mr. T and TBS. Um, I'm just going to get right into this uh, story. Um, it is a true heartbreaker. Um, I just decided to do my reaction slash response to this. This has nothing to do with law enforcement, but today we're just going to be talking about life itself, um, just being the precious commodity that it is. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and just do this video and let's take a look at what's going on. A Suffolk family is preparing to bid farewell to a Suffolk teenager who was killed while making a rap music video for social media. 17-year-old Raleigh Freeman III died May 16 of an accidental gunshot wound to the head. My story begins with the images this grieving mother want you to remember. Raleigh Freeman III was Monica Savage's only child. On social media, he was known as rapper Wilo Huncho. For all the wrong reasons, people around the world are watching his last music video. Yeah, yeah. Tim on your side will not share a graphic video of when Freeman put a gun to his head and pulled the trigger. He was wearing a shirt from his part-time job at the Portsmouth restaurant Freddy's. Minutes later, his mother returned to their White Marsh Road home. I didn't know he had a gun at all in the house. And I, and I seen, when I came in the house, I seen him in his own blood, and I ran, almost got hit by a car for trying to save my son's life. And I got the news that he had been shot. I mean, it was like a total shock to me. And then when I heard that he had a self-inflicted gun wound, gunshot wound to the head, that was hard, it's still a hard pill to swallow. Loved ones say the smile on his face just before the trigger was pulled offers confirmation. The story is being shared around the world. People are reading about what this young man, how he lost his life. What is your message to young people who may be doing things that are dangerous and their parents don't? Please put the guns down if you're seeking love, attention, anything you need, medical, mental help, reach out, help us out there. Okay, guys, um, of course I chose um, this particular um, news feed just simply because no one wants to relive that scene. Um, and I don't want to put videos up that cannot be shared. Um, so the message that I want to add to that is we have got to figure out some sort of way to have a dialogue with our young ones. First of all, our young ones, this message is for the adults. Our young ones are our future. They are our legacy. And we must do everything in our adult power. They don't have to be your child to have a common sense or what should be a common sense dialogue about reality versus fantasy. Everything and anything is accessible. We live in that type of world. We have people out here that have totally and completely have taken advantage of our freedoms and our uh, way of life, so to speak, okay? Um, some people would even say entitlements. But I said that to say this. These 
latitudes were given, fought for, and everything else for specific reasons. The reason why you have or your the right to bear arms was to protect your personal area, meaning your home, your person, and your family. And that law was given with the assumption that whoever owns these firearms, they would be responsible because of what firearms can do. I myself am a licensed carrying uh, firearm carrier. And that seems to be one of the most major topics when it comes to um, the political side of the world, but it shouldn't be. We do have that freedom to protect not only ourselves, our personal property, meaning like your vehicle, like if you were riding in your vehicle, driving in your vehicle, and or your home. Outside of that, um, it really shouldn't be. I hate the fact that this is even a topic, but we have to have some sort of conversation that will start to bring education and understanding into this because we just lost from what I just saw on my YouTube feed, a, a, a teenager, I think he was 13. I think it was like seven years ago doing the same thing, almost in the same manner, except for he, his was on Instagram. And so like, you know, the whole, there's an old saying goes like the first time you can kind of chalk it up as an incident, a freak incident. Second time, okay, you don't want to start developing a pattern. And that's where it starts to seem like this is going. It seems like our young people are not. I remember years and years ago. Whenever I would do, when I first uh, started podcasting, actually, I would have conversations about this. That there was seemingly to be a shift in the generations of young people not showing um, or not having the same value to life as we were and as we did as we were coming up, being children of the 70s. And that's where I see things, or that's why I saw things begin to shift. Because when you begin to reverse the order when you begin to take away parents um authority when you take the uh, who's supposed to be according to the traditional uh christian way of a home being designed when you take away the head of the household, lock them up, get rid of them or whatever, or you, you know, systematically or whatever. And then you reverse the order. Then all chaos begins to unfold. Now, whether you agree with me or not, all you have to do is just look at life. 
The proof is in life. I would say the proof is in the pudding, but the proof is in life. And I'm not talking about your exceptions to the rules. I'm not talking about, you know, oh, well, my mom did this. My mom did that, whatever, whatever. God bless you. And thank God for your mom. But with, I'm talking overall. When you begin to take away certain things that was not bad, and you don't replace it with anything either, then you have, you make room for chaos, for confusion for the devil to just run rampant. And that's where we are now. So unfortunately, we have this young man, even though someone gave him as, uh, access to a firearm, no one taught this young man responsibility. No one taught him safety. No one taught him respect, not only for the weapon, but respect for his life and other lives. See, even before a weapon was placed in my hand, even as a country boy coming up in Charlotte before all of this was developed, my dad always, and my mother always, emphasized the value of life, the importance of life, the importance of having children, the importance of legacy. And the main point was that even when we were growing up with that understanding is that no matter what happened, even if you did find yourself in a situation where you had to defend yourself, at least you just had these and you lived to see another day. Could I have had access to firearms and everything? Yeah, sure. But my dad and my mom shunned it. And shunned it for good reason. Why? Because of the value of life. And they were very involved in my upbringing. And the more I see and read and hear about stories like this, the more I thank God for my mom and dad. It's, they seem to be tough, sometimes over the top. Sometimes my brother and I even kind of uh, have a little joke about, you know, the way that we grew up, it would be considered abuse today. But I'm here and I'm talking to you. So, guys, we got to reclaim our children. That's my point. We have got to reclaim our children. I'm not going to make this into a sermon because I know everybody that hears my podcast, they don't believe the way that I believe, but it's one thing that I have to say because it is what I believe. I believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Some people call it the Holy Spirit. doesn't matter. Um, the point is, that we have got to bring God back into our homes. We've got to. Everybody's talking about changing legislation and all this other stuff. All that's all well and good. And you can fight about it, the politics and everything. But we need God. 
These are signs. These incidences are happening because we have totally put God to the side. Period, point blank. When are we going to wake up and realize that your money is only going to go but so far? We are all equal in two areas of life. We all come in here naked and we all leave naked. What you do in between is up to you. You won't take your money with you. You won't take your status. You won't take anybody with you. We're going to have to give an account for the things that we do. Whether you believe it or not, it's all for me now. I said what I had to say. This is my platform, Elephant Exposed. Once again, I am your host, CJ Jones. And if you happen to like my message that I'm sharing with you right now, I appreciate it. And um, I hope that I've reached somebody today. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.